What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video. Today's video is going to be filled with some exciting stuff as usual and it's going to start off with Shelder Spotlight Hour. As you guys can see on the screen, it is Shelder Spotlight Hour and we are going to try to get some shiny Shelder today. I already have four, I want to say. Oh god, Starpiece, Starpiece. I already have four shiny Shelder in my career, so these are all going to be extra. But of course, of course, I want to get some more shiny shelters. We're going to go ahead and get that done today. We are live on stream with the fam. Today's been a big, big stream, and I'm excited. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a shiny shelter today. So I started off with 787 seen shelters. We're going to see how many we see in this hour and how many we end up getting at the end of it. I'm hearing that the spawns are really, really, really good. So, we'll see what it's going to be like. We'll see what it's going to be like. Hopefully, this spotlight hour goes well. I'll let you guys know how it goes at the end of it. Probably the last check of the uh, Shelter Spotlight Hour. We're an hour in. This is the final check, I think. Unless we get another one after. And not a shiny. So, I think we went shinyless on this spotlight hour. But we can check IVs. Even though I have a Hundo Cloyster already. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Honestly, didn't get a lot of spawns. We'll check how many Pokemon we got in total right now. Started the stream with 787 Shelter checks, and we ended up seeing 847. So that was what? 60 checks? Only 60 checks in the hour. Didn't get a shiny. Not a big deal. I don't really care too much about that. I already have shinies, and I have the hundos. But I'm going to IV check all these Pokemon, and if I get anything good, we'll see. Wow, that's crazy. No good IV Shelter at all. That's the GG on the spotlight hour. All right, hope you guys enjoyed those stream highlights right there. Unfortunately, as you guys saw, that Shelter spotlight hour for me was no good. Granted, I got a lot of Stardust, but no Shinies and no good IV Pokemon. But now that we got that over with, I actually have a ton of news to get into today. It's all very exciting, except for one thing that we're going to kind of talk about and talk about how the community is reacting to that. But other than that, it's going to be very, very exciting news. It's kind of a lot, so I'm going to try to condense it as much as I can. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first piece of news, I guess, this is really quick news. But tomorrow, Friday, is Safari Zone, well, it was supposed to be Safari Zone Philadelphia. So as you guys know, these Safari Zones were supposed to happen. They didn't happen. They got postponed slash canceled, but they still happen in game. So if you guys want to watch me play Safari Zone Philadelphia live tomorrow, I'll be live streaming the entire event on Twitch, twitch.tv slash jtgilly. Link is in the description down below, twitch.tv slash jtgilly. I'll be streaming the entire event. So if you guys want want to catch some shinies with me I suggest you guys come through it's gonna be a great great time now that we got that out of the way let's move on to our first piece of news here so we have a incoming event very very soon called snubble day which is gonna be happening this Saturday May 9th from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. in your local time snubble limited research will feature more than 50 special timed research tasks rewarding encounters with snubble if you're lucky you can even encounter a shiny snubble now shiny snubble one of the most underrated shinies in the game honestly I love it I already have the shiny snubble family but I'm still gonna do this because I'll take some more shiny so if you're wondering how this is gonna work I believe in your today view they're gonna automatically put in 50 research tasks that are going to be limited time so you can't keep them for next week you have to finish them on Saturday but I'm sure they're gonna be very very easy like catch three Pokemon uh, use five Five raspberries, da, da 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 transfer three Pokemon, really easy stuff like that. And each task is gonna reward you with snubble. So great chance to get some shiny snubble in your collection. Make sure you guys take advantage of that. I'll actually be streaming that as well if you guys want to check that out on Twitch. As you can see at the bottom here, we also have our next incense day announced. I'm really, really happy about this. I had a feeling they were gonna bring this back, and they definitely did, so I'm excited. May 17th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time, you can enjoy an incense day event featuring water and dark type Pokemon, notably Carvana. The type of Pokemon attracted by incense will shuffle every hour between water and dark types with rare encounters like Alomalomalomalomalomala and Scraggy. Scraggy is going to be a good one to get, so definitely take advantage of that. Now for this next segment, I do want to head over to the in-game shop because it is a new week and we have new things in the shop. So right now, I'm going to open this box right here. We have an incense bundle in the shop. For one coin, you can get three incense, 15 raspberries, 20 pokeballs, and 10 pineapple berries. That is a deal and a half 
and that is a deal I'm going to take advantage of. So give me that bundle right there. Thank you very much. And then we also have this remote raid pass bundle. It's got one remote raid pass in it for one coin. You got to grab it. You got to grab it. So let me grab that as well. Make sure to take advantage of those because those bundles leave the shop every Monday. As you guys may know, the legendary Pokemon Giratina is back in raids until next week. So let's go ahead and talk about Giratina's best counters. It's 100% IVs and all that good stuff. As you guys know, the shiny form is available. That's what it looks like in the middle right hand side right there. You need about three to six trainers to take it down. It's catch CP ranges from 1848 to 1931. And then it's boosted CP ranges from 2310 to 2414. The best counters for Giratina are Rayquaza, Palkia, Salamence, Haxorus, Dragonite, or Garchomp. But in general, he's weak to Dark, Dragon, Fairy, Ghost, and Ice types. And since we're on the topic of raids and we just bought that remote raid pass bundle, I have some very exciting news regarding remote raids. So, as you can see right here, remote raid invitations were found in the code. Now, I thought they were going to come out last week. They probably had some problems and it didn't come out. So, I'm assuming they're coming very, very soon, like within the next week or two. They're found in the code. This is very exciting news because we all need these remote raid invitations so bad. It's it's pretty much going to allow you to invite friends to raids no matter where they are and the only thing that is going to be a little bit tricky about this is that you're probably going to have to be ultra or best friends with the people that you invite because they can't just have everybody in the world inviting each other to raids that would be really really crazy for their servers but this is going to be one of the coolest features we'll ever see in the game we can invite our friends to raid wherever we are it's going to be a great great time and we're finally going to be able to do some legendary raids because i don't remember the last time I did a legendary raid so I'm very excited for this the remote raid invitation details and you know the error and all this stuff is in the code right now so I'm assuming it's coming out soon and finally let's get to the main focus of today's video now we have an article from Pokemon Go that talks about a new way or new ways to earn Poke Coins in the game. And the article says, right now, the only way to earn Poke Coins is to defend gyms. But since Pokemon Go's release, we've added features that have vastly changed the way you play. In addition, with more trainers playing at home, we're looking to provide more ways for you to earn Poke Coins while playing in one place. So in the future, we'll be rewarding you with Poke Coins for activities besides defending gyms. We'll soon be testing this update in Australia, and it'll be coming to everyone else after we test it out. In order to balance this new method of earning Poke Coins, the the number of Poke Coins earned from defending gyms will be reduced from 6 per hour to 2. The maximum number of Poke Coins you can earn in a day will be increased to 55. Here are some of the daily activities you might see. Complete the featured activities each day to receive 5 Poke Coins. So it looks like from the way they're wording this, if you complete all of these tasks, you'll earn 5 coins a day. Make an excellent throw, evolve a Pokemon, make a great throw, use a berry to help catch a Pokemon, take a snapshot of your buddy, catch a Pokemon, power up a Pokemon, make a nice throw, transfer a Pokemon, win a raid. Now that we have that out the way and we've talked about what it is, let's get into it. So I've always been a big believer in another gym rework. I think we need one. I feel like gym battling has just been a lost art in the Pokemon Go community. I know people still do it, but it's not what it used to be and I really think that it needs to change and that it really could change for the better so let's go ahead and start with that first part right there it says that the Poke Coins earned from defending gyms will be reduced from six per hour to two the max number of coins you can earn in a day is 55 that means you'll have to take over and defend a gym successfully for 28 hours so for more than one day you need to defend a gym to earn the maximum amount of coins, which already doesn't make any sense if the daily maximum is 55, but you have to hold it for an entire 28 hours for that to count. It really, it just, it just, that math doesn't really make any sense. First of all, the max amount of coins you should get in a day should be 100. If you're able to defend a gym from people, then you deserve the coins. Why they reduced the coins per hour from 6 to 2, I have no idea. Why it's only increased to 55, but like that entire paragraph just kind of hurts my brain. I saw so many people on Twitter talking about it. I saw so many people very, very up in arms about this little piece right here, and I agree. I mean, it'll work if it's what we have, it's what we have but I think they're gonna change it now granted this is all a part of the test so if we voice our opinion with constructive criticism we'll be able to make this change as a community let's move on to the next part of this thing you have to complete 10 daily activities to earn five coins 
As you guys know, there's nothing in the shop that gets you five coins other than those weekly bundles, which are great. So that's good, but let's be honest, that's not what we're trying to save up the coins for. It's only one coin. I'm sure a lot of us do have that one coin, and that won't be too big of a deal. So as you can see right there, we need to complete 10 activities to earn five coins. 10 activities. I would rather they every day give three of those tasks randomly to each trainer. So each trainer will randomly have three of those 10 tasks. And if they complete all three of them, they get their five coins or maybe five of those 10 tasks. Overall, I do appreciate to try to find ways for us to get Poke Coins because I know that means a lot to a lot of people around the world. I'm definitely gonna do those 10 tasks a day. That's kinda gonna be easy for me, but I know for most people, that's not gonna be easy. So hopefully they can find ways to make that better for everybody. And again, this is just a test. All we gotta do as a community is find alternatives or little tweaks to this and then voice our opinions and hopefully they'll get it changed. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. Again, follow me on Twitch. Link in the description. Watch me play all these Pokemon Go events live. It's a ton of fun over there. And also let me know what you guys think about this Pokecoin system rework, the incense day, the snubble day. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see your faces later. Deuces.